Okay, we just finished the user section and we're moving on to the auto attendant section. So uh, you'll notice on the uh, browser, I'm moving down a few pages, actually a few entries down and I'm going to click on that auto attendant menu. Typically you may have one or two auto attendant menus that are already built for you as if we uh, would have set those up for you. They all work the same. Uh, so looking at one or looking at five aren't going to make any difference. So let's go ahead and click on the one we have here for set for main greeting. Uh, a couple of things to be aware of is you'll notice this pop-up, this install. Um, that is because we use an ActiveX plugin to assign uh, the recording feature. So it's actually going to uh, click in here for a second and it's going to install that and then the, the screen will pop up. So you'll probably find this same thing happening to you the first time you click in to that, that menu. Um, and that's, that's okay. It's, it's, it's normal. Uh, it's just so that we can now uh, click on this record button down here to record the call. So uh, one thing you need to make sure you do is you need to trust the page on your uh, web browser. Uh, so make sure you do that or you won't get the ability to install that plugin. So here we are in the menu. Very straightforward. We have the name of the menu and the extension number. The extension number is important because to test your auto attendant, you want to be able to call it without having to call into the phone system in case you're not turning it on yet and you want to test all your options. So again, you just dial that extension 700. It would then start playing whatever greeting is uh, currently assigned at the time. In this case, uh, depending on the hours of operation, it could be playing the on hours greeting, the off hours greeting, the holiday greeting, or the custom greeting. Now all four of the greetings have their own settings, so make sure that you set up all of those greetings and all of their settings um, at the same time. You'll notice right below that we have the ability to set a direct number, a DID number to the auto attendant. So if you want to have, let's say, a backdoor number that goes straight to your auto attendant, this is a great place to, to do that, to assign one of those direct numbers. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll assign a DID number and I'm going to take the last number in the series and that'll be 1199. And if I hit save, now anytime someone calls that number, it's going to go straight to our auto attendant. So that just helps people so they don't have to uh, call through the operator and they have to be transferred to the auto attendant to check their, their voicemail messages. Now if we continue to move down a little bit further, you'll notice I have the option to make this private. We always make auto attendant messages private because we don't want them to be on the directory on the telephone and we don't want them to be in the directory on the call manager. So you should see that. Uh, feature allowed. The other feature we always allow is this prompt for recording using the telephone. And what that does is it gives you the ability to record the greeting without having to use the shoreware director to record those calls. Uh, so as an example, uh, I would call into the voicemail. I would then press the option to leave a message and then I would put an extension 700 because that's the extension number of the menu and then that would allow me to go ahead and re-record any one of those four greetings. So uh, that could work in a pinch if uh, something's uh, wrong. Maybe you're closing early for the day and you just need to let people know. So you want to record that real quick. You don't have to get into the show or director to do it. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, again, that password is right here. Um, it's right there below that option. We typically use 1234 because it's the same password that we use for the IP phones. Uh, some people like to use the extension number, but again, it's a minimum of four digits. So if your extension numbers aren't four digits, you might want to go with the 1234 a little bit easier. Now, before I go into the next section, there is one other thing that you need to be aware of, and that is um, if you're going to do any recording of these greetings, you have to have the ability to have the system know what extension it's going to call you at to record. So the way we do that is we click on this little preference tab right here. So I'm going to click on the preference tab and you'll notice playing and record using telephone and I would put in my extension number or the extension number of the person that's going to record. I hit save and now what's going to happen as soon as that's saved if I go back to the auto attendant and I go back to my greeting I'll now have the ability when I hit the record button down here or the play button to call that phone automatically and have a way to record those greetings without having to dial in and know a password or the extension number of the auto attendant. The other option uh, that you have here is to erase. So you could erase the greeting and you can import. Now, 
Importing, uh, we'll cover that in a different section. That takes a little bit more work, but keep in mind that these are WAV files, but they are in a specific format. So if you need that information, uh, please call, contact us, and we'll get you that information in an email. It's a little bit more complicated to do than to show you on the screen here. So just keep in mind that if I hit record or play, I have to preference that through that preference tab, and now I can go ahead and play that message or record it. Now you notice here we have a timeout. That timeout is how long the system waits once the greeting plays before it acts upon an option that's going to be down here a little bit lower. You'll see down here there's a timeout option right here. So if that's set to 3000, then that means in three seconds, if nobody dials anything after the greeting plays, we're going to go ahead and transfer to extension 100 based on this option down here. So if you notice, we have all of the one key options listed here. Uh, something else to, be, to keep in mind, if your extensions are one, you can use option one for, uh, for a one key option, but I prefer that you wouldn't use one as a one key option, uh, only because we've had some instances where uh, people that aren't listening, they press one and they don't know the other digits to dial, and all of a sudden they're being transferred to that option. Uh, so Keep that in mind uh, if you're using, you know, one, two, three or so. We always like to use the star key for the directory instead of using one of the one key options so that it leaves those open for extension numbers as well as some of the options you might want to use. Uh, as well as you'll notice there's a schedule here. Again, we'll cover schedules in another section, but this is where you assign the schedules for the system. So keep in mind, if I don't have a schedule assigned, I must go to a schedule and create that schedule to allow the opening and close greetings to take place in an automatic fashion. Some systems, people have uh, manually setting their system between an on hours and an off hours menu, uh, but a lot of people like to use the schedule so the system will switch as well as holiday modes and customs. But we'll cover that later when we get to that section of the training. Now, just to keep in mind some options down here. A timeout, we talked about that. That's if you play the greeting and it does, nobody does anything and they play through the entire greeting. The second option is too many errors. Again, if they're, they're dealing touch tones and those are not matching anything, it's going to go ahead and hang up on them. So that way they can't hack into the system. Invalid entry, very straightforward, and you must make sure that that multiple digits is always turned on to transfer to extensions. Otherwise, you're never going to get an extension number to be called through the auto attendant. It's just going to use the one key option. So the only time you don't turn that on is if you're using a menu where you want them to have to choose an option in the menu and not be able to dial an extension. They just only choose one of the, the nine options here, zero through nine. Uh, so that's a fairly... Uh, there's only a couple other things that I would um, want to, to be careful with. Uh, again, one of them is always make sure that that is a private um, number because we really don't want those in the directory. People don't want to dial the auto attendant um, inadvertently instead of dialing someone's other name that might have started with an M. And two, uh, make sure that you record your greetings and you test them and you make sure that the one key options are functional. So again, uh, these are pretty straightforward. Let's add an option just so you can see what it looks like uh, and what are those choices. So we have dial by first name, dial by last name. Go to extension means it's going to transfer but not ring the phone. Um, so the person, I'm sorry, let me clarify that. That's going to ring the phone, but it's not going to tell the person that I'm transferring to that extension. Now go to menu, that's something that you need to be aware of. If you're going to have a sub menu, so let's say option number one is going to go to another menu, you would have to have another auto attendant menu built to choose that option. You notice I don't have any menus here. I actually have a voicemail login, but I don't have any other options here because I have to create that menu first. So once you create those menus, then you can go and pick those submenu options and that would allow you to go a little bit further down in the tree. So that's pretty uh, much it for this section. Uh, we'll get move on to the next.